Hey guys, Ray from Love the RV and Boat. So, a bit of a rainy day today, kind of an inside day, so I thought I would uh, do a teardown video on this Bluetti Elite 100. Take it all apart and kind of see how it's put together, how, how the inner workings look. So this is an 1800 watt inverter in it. It's got a 1024 watt hour battery in it. Not one of their very huge ones, kind of their kind of one of their smaller ones, but uh, very handy little power station to have. Anyway, let's pull it apart. Okay, so just six screws pop the top off, and uh, there is the major electronic boards in it. Let's see, we've got some fans here, and they've got some plastic shielding to direct the airflow through all the heat sinks here and out the other side. around get a look at this other side it's actually quite heavy there we go okay you can see how we got some pretty heavy duty uh, battery connections here so this must be down below the battery and the BMS down here connector here and then it, the battery power goes up to the main board I'm going to try to peel these boards apart. I want to get down and take a look at the, the battery in this thing. See how easy it is to get out. Looks like the front um, display can come off as well. So we got the first layer off and this appears to be the solar charging board. It was connected right to this connector on the front where the DC or solar charging input goes and then it goes down to the battery it's kind of neat how they've incorporated all this to carry the current so I said they don't really have many wires at all everything is uh, quite put together really well nice modular design imagine it's easy for them to uh, assemble these also, they can swap out modules if they need to repair quite easily. Anyway, we'll try to get this next board off. It's probably the bulk of the inverter board here. Okay, you can see it a little better now that I've got rid of the plastic and the fans. On this side, you got your battery input, battery pack underneath. And on this side, we've got grid in. This is where you put your... Uh, power cord into your household outlet and then on this we have the output from the inverter or it can pass through so that's what all that is doing kind of the main board of the unit but yeah I'm pretty impressed with the quality of the <clears throat> the circuitry in there just the way it's put together Okay, so we're getting closer to the battery here. Get the front display off. Over here we got the AC output board, and then this board has the DC inputs and outputs and display. So battery's buried in here somewhere. Keep peeling things off. Okay, getting down to the meat of the matter now. There's the actual lithium battery cells. So they're saying 3.2 volts, 20 amp hours, 64 watt hours. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can peel it down a little further. There's the AC input board there. Lots of stuff. It's quite amazing the technology and the amount of effort it takes to put this together and the low price they sell for. Just remarkable. Here's a look at the BMS board, battery management system board. 
There's some leads going over here. I imagine those are for balancing the cells. Maybe some safety things as well. I'll try to take apart these covers and get a look at how the cells are put together. Okay, so this wafer board was kind of just glued on there for protection. Here's the cell ends. Looks like they're all laser welded. Looks like there's 16 cells in the pack. Take a look at the other side. And much the same thing on this side. So, 16 cells are wired together, 3.2 volts per cell, and they combine on the output here, they combine for uh, oh, pretty close to 52 volts. And then this uh, BMS board controls uh, that current going through and all the protections and that sort of thing, or it gets output here. This main board and this other board and then they do all the magic turn it into ac power and do the charging that sort of thing okay managed to get it all back together without any extra screws it's nice that they used a lot of the same size screws for most things there was only three different types of screws and they were pretty easy to keep uh, track of yeah overall pretty good uh, design till next time ray from love your rv and boat cheers guys